truck bed installer Pine Hill and today I'm going to be showing you how to install front bumper mounts for oversized load signs. These are the parts that come in your kit. You will get two of the bumper mounts, four three-eighths by two stainless steel bolts, four three-eighths nuts, and four three-eighths lock washers. And for tools, you just need two 916 wrenches. First step, we're gonna mount our bumper mount onto the tow hook. For the passenger side, you wanna make sure that the bar is on the inside of the tow hook. Once you have that on, you wanna take your 3 8 bolt, and I start with the back hole, put it down through, and take your nut and lock washer, and put it on the bolt. And take your other bolt, put it in the front hole, and put the nut and the lock washer on. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the driver's side. Again, you wanna make sure that this rod is on the inside of the tow hook. Take a 3 8 bolt, back hole, nut and lock washer, put it on the bolt, Take your other bolt in the front hole, and then your nut and lock washer. Now we're gonna tighten our bolts with our two 9 16th wrenches. I start with the back bolt. Get it nice and snug, and then go to the front bolt. Now we're going to come to the other side. Again, let's start with the back bolt. Then go to the front bolt. Now we're going to be installing our mounting brackets onto our oversized load sign. For GMCs, you want to make sure that this tube is on the inside. And it goes right where these four 5 16th bolts are. You want to remove the nuts and the lock washers. And place your bracket over the bolts and reinstall the lock washers and nuts. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, remove your nuts and lock washers. And install your bracket, again with the tube on the inside, and reinstall your nuts and lock washers. Now we're going to put our oversized load sign on the mount. Just want to put that bracket, slide right over the mount on both sides. Now you just want to measure your sign to your mount just to make sure it's squared up. Now that we have our sign centered, we want to tighten these nuts on the back of the bracket. You need a half inch wrench.
Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We have now successfully installed our front bumper mounts and our folding oversized load sign. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video.